So gang, I got a different one for you look car. We're not shooting long range today. Yep, we here. You know, this one's way wider. Should I show you what else is crazy? channel my name's Uta Beefs make sure you like share subscribe follow me on Instagram Uta underscore beefs happy new year to everyone out there thank you for the support all of last year the numbers grew but like I said in the M60 video can we get to a thousand this year maybe two thousand I'm gonna work so you lot just keep looking out for the videos so boom Thanks to Jim and Daniel at Cooley Surplus Store. I've got another one. You should have seen the unboxing, but if you haven't, I'm gonna walk for it now. So, boom, we got the Rexymex Nito. It's a PCP pistol. Yeah, you see, I have to fill it up with the air tag, but we'll get into it. And it comes in red. It's crazy. So, boom, let me open up this package. When you take it out the box, this is how it comes in a case. I really like the case. You can feel it's protective. Like, it's soft, but it's hard if you get what I mean. But yeah, it's got the branding on there and everything. Got your little handles. I like it. I do like it. Let me go inside with it now quickly and show you how it comes. Boom, you got the user's manual in here, and you got the readings. Rexymex got their own, done their readings. So I'll show you that in a second. So this is how it comes in the case, gang. Get me, I can hold it up actually, everything's tight in there. I like this. Look, see the foam as well. That's why I said it's protective. Let me show you what's in there now. Let's start with the small stuff. One thing I'm gonna say now, the probe is on the whip or the hose to the air tank because it, it doesn't come with a quick fit adapter. So I had to screw off my quick fit adapter or quick connect and screw in the probe. So the probe's on the thing but I got a picture. You look, should have seen the picture by now. So boom, what comes in the case now, I didn't show you look, in the unboxing. So this is an adapter that goes on the front of the rifle where the barrel goes. So you can put a silencer on there, you get me? It comes with an Allen key as well and some O-rings, but I'm gonna leave that in the bag. The next thing is a rear sight, and I get it, because on the pistol, you got a rear sight, but this one is adjustable, so you can move it left or right, so if you're really, really a target shooter, yeah, you need this one, because it's adjustable. So that's what comes in the bag, let's move on to the... single shot loader do you know what this thing's so tight it's hard to get the things out it's a good thing i got a long nail all right if you watch the rexymex ixia video it's basically the same i don't like it to tell the truth first time i'm saying that i'm using the magazine in this video but yeah i don't like this car when it's in the pistol and you try and you put in a pellet it's supposed to slide down and go in line with the hole, you get me? But 
80% of the time, the pellet was turning around, so the pellet was facing me, the skirt was facing that way, so I've used this, but I prefer the magazine this time. Also, it comes with two magazines. This one was hard to get out, so I ain't taking out the other one. But it comes with two magazines, and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine shot magazine, I think. Eight or nine. I'll put the numbers on the screen, but then you got this. Like I said, it's a pistol, but it's got a stock on it. I'm gonna stress it up in a second, but yeah, even this the stock is decent. You got a little button here that you press to when you wanna de-attach or detach the stock from the pistol it's got a nice little rubber grip on the back and everything i'm not sure if it's, this is a little compartment you know guys got a button here and it's got some it's got some pins in this i don't know if it flips open but i'm not playing with it so it's got the rubber back stock it's got a textured cheek piece You look and hear that. All right, and let me put this back and let's get into the pistol now. Gang, I'm in love with this pistol, I can't lie. I'm gonna show you something in a sec, but boom. This is the Reximex Mito. It's nice, I can't lie, it's super nice. You look, see the ergonomics in the grip as well. It fits my hand perfectly. I don't know if you've got big hands, I don't know, but with my little small hands, I ain't got big hands at all. It fits nicely. Sorry, but you see how the front bit here reminds me of, it reminds me of a Beretta. But yeah, I like this pistol. Remember, it's a PCP as well, so this is a little air tank as well. So, yeah. Let's get into it, man. All right, then. You've seen the stock. Let's start with this now. So, you, like I said before, you got the ergonomics on the pistol grip. I like it. Fits into your hand nicely. All right, after the grip now, or in front of the grip, you got your safety switch. So, it's... Push it in. Oh, when the safety's out, when you see the when you see the switch out, it's on safety. When it's in, it's on fire. Get me, put that back on safe now. The trigger now, it's a two-stage trigger. I'm not sure if it's adjustable. I didn't mess with any of that. I'll read it up, I'll let you know and I'll put the words up, you get me. Trigger's nice though, I can't lie. It's got a nice little first stage. And then the second stage, yeah, it's crisp. It's crisp. Let's go in front of that now. You got the air tank. It's a 50cc air tank. Max fill is 250 bar. This is also regulated as well, so it's letting out a certain amount of air. Sorry, that's my phone going off. It's, uh, it's letting out a certain amount of air. All right, let's come back to the back now. You got the rear sights. Like I said, you, you can take these off. There's a grab scrap at the top. You can take these off and put the adjustable rear sight on it. It's got a dovetail rail on the top that starts from the very back of the rifle and goes to the very front of the rifle. And it's got these little slots in there, so if you do put a little scope or a red dot sight, you can always remember where, where you had it, you get me? The front sight now, I think that's adjustable as well. I can feel it moving, but I ain't played with that. It's adjustable. You can take it off as well, so if you're going to have the, a scope or a red dot sight on there, you can have that. You get me? 
the front is threaded like I said it's got an adapter in the front that screws in I'm gonna show you everything in a minute all right then the barrel I'm not sure about the barrel you know I didn't go that deep but I'll put the things on the screen now the specs on the screen now all right let's move on to this bit, I don't know what it's called, but the bit that covers the barrel. See how it's red, like a maroon kind of color. I like that. When the rifle is dressed up all in black and it's got a little bit of red, it looks nice. It does look nice. Um, quickly, let me show you how to load the mag, how you load, not the magazine. Let me show you how you load the pistol. Basically, can I get this magazine? This thing's tight. Basically, pull the cocking handle back or the cocking lever, and then it's got like a little, it's got a little groove in here at the top. I'll take a picture. I should give you a close up. And then it's got a little groove here. I don't know what the right word is, but it's got a little bit here that all you really do is just slide it in, match them up. Oh, I ain't matched it up properly. And slide. It's kind of tight because I ain't really shot it, shot it like that. I just had some fun in the garden. And yeah, that's how you load the pistol. Let me show you something else. Oh, go back. It's cocked. You can decock it. Let me show you from here. Hold back the cocking handle, take it off for safety, press the trigger, and ride the handle forward. Put it back on safety now, and then, yeah. Let me put the stock on for you look now. This is crazy. So boom, gang. That's how it looks with the stock on it. But, let me show you like something quickly. Here's a couple pictures. So the first picture should be the stock on with a Tanto silencer, the Donny FL Tanto silencer, with just the rear sight and the front sight on there. Looks nice, but yeah. Let's move on to the second picture now. I got the Hug It Silence on there with the red dot sight that I got from the boot cell. At this range, actually. I was all thinking, where did it come from? So, yeah, that's another one. I do like that look. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to use that in this video, this setup in the video. The third picture now is a PAO scope, 3x12x44, and the Virox Silence on it. I like this is my setup as well but the one the only problem with this setup the crosshairs I can't get the crosshairs down to the point of impact someone said put a shim in the back so I might try it when I go home later or something but in this video I won't be using that let's move on to the readings now so Rexy Max done the readings on this pistol they, it says they use RWS superfields 4.51 grains no 4.51 that's the head the size of the head basically it was 8.4 grains it says the average was 546 standard deviation was 2.17 the lowest reading was 544 feet per second. The highest reading was 550 feet per second with a spread of six. That's kind of decent to tell the truth. So yeah, I'm not even gonna bother chrono in this car. It's done already. I'll do it when I'm at home or something. So yeah, gang, this is the Reximex Mito. I'm gonna dress this up now. Like I showed you already, we're in the 30 yard range, a whole different place. So 
I don't know how I'm gonna do this if we're gonna go up in six. Nah, we're gonna go up in fives. I'm gonna do. F nah. Yeah, we're gonna go up in five yards. Five, 10, 15. We'll see if we can stretch it out to 20. So, yeah, gang, this is the Rexy Max Meter. I can't lie, gang. I might buy this. This might be my Christmas present. You lot seen how it looks, and you lot know I'm not really a pistol guy, but this has got a stock on it, so it's like a baby rifle in it. Once you put a scope on it in the silence, that's a. This might be my present to tell the truth. Hopefully when you lot have watched this, I probably have bought it already. You get me? So yeah, gang. Oh, let me show you how to take it off quickly. Press the button and then pull. And then it's back to a pistol again. Let's go shoot. All right, so boom, gang. First thing I'm gonna say before I shoot is, yeah, this is my preferred setup so far. I'm new to the red dot side, innit? But one, if you buy this pistol, I've put the Hug It silencer and I've put the Tanto, the Don Yefel Tanto on it. This pistol is loud. The Hug It and the Tanto do not work. You need the Virat silencer on this. This makes it just sound like a little poof, a little poof. You get me? Two, like I said, the scope. The scope, I can't get the crosshairs down to the point of impact, you get me? What's the next thing I wanted to say? So yeah, I'm using the red dot sight. Two, I'm using the QYSs in the magazine. I was using the 8.44s, but I ran out of them at home shooting this pistol to tell the truth so i'm using the qis's i was gonna buy some rs's the lightweight jsb's out of the vending machine but there's none there so i'm just gonna wait till surplus stores open again next thing i'm gonna be shooting it off of the bag because i'm a rifle shooter in it so I'm gonna be shooting it like this. The next thing I'm gonna say now, the red dot sight. I'm getting used to it, but see when I've got on the green light, yeah? There's way, there's way too much glare in the little lens. So, yeah, I ain't using the green light. The red light, there's four di different settings. I might show you while I'm talking. There's four different settings, but I like using just the, the dot. You get me? Because it's bright. So say like I'll put the dot out there, this dot completely covers that dot. The, the red dot side completely covers the black dot on the target, basically, on the target paper. So I'm not gonna zero it. 100% just so I can see the dot, you get me? But gang, Rexy Max Mito. Let's get into the shooting. All right, so boom, gang. Five yards. I'm gonna give it five. Three.
fail. I didn't see what happened there, you know. But yeah, let's move on to 10 yards now. Alright, so boom. So boom, gang. We're going 10 yards now. I haven't changed the zero on the site or anything. I'm just going to put it on the black dot if I can see it from here. And put five on the dot. But, alright. Five shots, 10 yards. I think that was free. Do you know what? I could not see the dot, the light, and the glare and everything. It properly covers the dot now, so yeah. It's that free. Four, so I've got to move the gotta move the pistol around. You get me? Just I move it around. Try to keep it on level and then shoot when I think it's on top of the dot. Alright, that should be five. Let's go 15 now. Put this down. Nine shots as well, that's annoying man, car. Now I've got to load it all up again, like whole nine shots, but 15 yards. So gang, we're at 15 yards now. I made the, the, the dot a bit bigger, but yeah, this red dot still covers it. Let me see the next second. Yeah, nah, let me keep it on the dot. All right, 15 yards now. Fifteen yards is kind of far, you know, though I'm used to shooting 30 in that. You get me? I reckon if I did have the scope on it, I would be way more accurate, but yeah, the red dot's kind of fun, man. So yeah, 15 yards. Remember, I never changed the zero as well, I just kept it there, so wherever it lands, it lands. That was free, innit? One more just because I can. That was what it was. Let me check the groups. If they're alright, we're going out to 20 yards. So gang, I was happy with that group. I can't even lie. So, I'm bringing it out to 20 yards. It's out at 20 yards. I wish I had the RS's. Is, the, is it the 7.33 grain? So I could have gone out a bit further. You get me? It would have been less power. But it would have been a lighter pellet. So it would have flew further. But 
8.48, so doing all right, the QYS is. I've got to do a proper, proper pellet, pellet test of this as well now, just to see which one this does like, but 20 yards, five shots. Let's do this. I made the, I made the dot a lot bigger as well, so. Yeah, I'm not used to the pistol groups, six foot pound groups, so someone has to let me know in the comments, is that good? Is the 15 yard group good? But yeah, 20 yards now. And I can't see the dot, but we're going for it. Let me go check the groups. The group. If it was good, but if I think it's okay, we're getting up to 25 yards. All right, so gang, two things I'm gonna say, yeah? One, that black dot ain't a black dot no more. That's a eclipse. It's a big circle now. I noticed that the pellets was going up and to the right. I ain't changing the zero, so I put the circle down at the bottom corner and hopefully the pellets will stay on the paper two you lot have seen me shot 20 times so 20 plus 5 plus 9 what's that 34 i've taken 34 shots out of this and it's on 200 bar now i filled it to 25 before i started shooting so 25 yards. <laughs> Can't even remember, but I just took two, so I'm saying two. taking one more because not that last shot but the shot before I think I left the cocking handle open so it might have went weird so let me just do one to, one more to compensate and I love shooting sorry all right let me go check this at 25 yards here if it's decent, we go 30 yards. So gang, I'm done. It opened up at 25 yards of it, innit? I reckon if I had the scope, I could have had pellet on pellet shots, you know, to tell the truth. But yeah, when I go home, I'm gonna test it out with the scope properly, zero it up properly and see how good it does. And probably come back I might even buy this black pistol but boom gang five yards this is the pen mark that's the pen mark you lot heard it almost come back and hit me in it wear safety goggles I'm joking but nah I ain't wear safety goggles wear safety goggles 
So boom. This is five shots there at five yards. Five P can cover that easily. Let's move on to 10 yards. All right, we got the 10 there now. We got one, two, three, and then we got two there. Let me see. I could have had four shots under the five P, you know, but three's all right. But like I said, that the red dot site covers this, plus the little glare around the red dot, it completely covers this. So I had to move the red dot over here and then slowly come over here and shoot. That's why, yeah, it was just harder. I need a scope, but that's the 10 yard group. 15 yard now. That's better than the 10 yard group. And there's six on there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, 5P. Should I call it? No, I can't really, I can't. I got, I got four under there nicely. Four and a half. But yeah, I say four and a half. That's decent, 15 yards that, when you really see how far 15 yards is, this, this pistol's decent. So yeah, that's 15 yards. Let's move to 20 now. See, the 20 was good, you know, I reckon. Cause I got two there, two there, one there. I know it's bigger than a 5P, but for them to group like that there and there, you know that the pistol's on point. It's just me with the red dot sack, like I'm gonna keep stressing, you get me? So yeah, it's almost a 5P, four at 5P. So yeah, let's move on to the 25 now. This is where it opened up now. I haven't watched the video. I can't remember if I done five or six, but yeah, I can see five anyway. So I'm just gonna put this there. All right, I can get two under there. I can't stretch it to three. So yeah, 25 yards. I'm coming back for you, Rube boy, with a Ross Clark scope. You get me? Watch when I see you again, big man. So boom, gang. I'm done. I fell in love with this pistol, I can't lie. I think this is gonna be my Christmas present. I cannot front. There's a lot of things I was meant to say that I missed out in this video, but there's plenty of other videos out there. If I missed it, they probably got it. You get me, sir? Rexy Mex, big up yourselves. This is a mini beast, a little baby beast. I want it. You get me? So boom, gang. Happy New Year. Big thank you to everyone at Cruelly Surplus Store. Big thank you to Daniel for lending me the rifles. Big shout out to Jim for recommending the pistol car. Like I said, I'm in love with this one. I'm taking this one, I'm keeping this one. You get me, sir? Big up to everyone at Cruelly Surplus Store. If you ain't been down there, we waiting for New Year's, man. Go down there, get into the sport as well, if anything. You get me? So, boom, gang, I'm Uta Beefs. It's Christmas Day, you know, I gotta go home and finish cooking and pick up the kids. So, boom, gang, I'm done. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore Beefs. Happy New Year. Big thank you for the support that I've been getting all year. Next year. We go again with a new pistol. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Gang, bless up yourself. Happy New Year.